Hi, I'm Kim Serafini, the founder, creator and CEO of Positive Prime Technology. It's an honor, privilege and pleasure to be here with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is a quick tutorial, an explanation, hopefully to inspire you and help you understand why we have certain types of positive statements that you'll see inside a Positive Prime session and how it is best for you. What do you do when you watch it? So I'm actually just on the homepage, positiveprime.com, and there is an example of a session there called Being Happier. So I'm going to press play and guide you through this player to begin with. Mute this, for example, and not play it, and choose to play any other music you like on any other tab in Google Chrome or Spotify if you've got that app on your laptop. Or indeed, you could just turn the stereo on in the background in the room in which you're viewing one of these beautiful positive psychology and neuroscience interventions. So anyway, I want you to know that this little symbol here is for you to expand to full screen. And once you do that, um, you'll actually have a much more powerful experience. Size actually does matter in this particular instance. Positive Prime is inside Google Chrome for those people who use something like a, an Oculus Quest and they want the virtual reality experience and the immersion experience when watching a Positive Prime session, which means, of course, the software must live and exist and be experienced within Google Chrome as a browser. So that's an aside. I slow it down or speed it up. Um, the very first time I watch it, no matter um, where you are, depending upon your internet connection, you'll either experience glitches the very first time or black screens because it's going to be about the way that your Google Chrome browser caches the 1000 plus flashcards. But let me just address now the statements. There are on average around about 200 statements, self-fulfilling prophecies, affirmations, affirmations, um, questions that actually have your beautiful brain go through an appreciative inquiry process. Um, there are indeed I am's, you are's, um, global states, statements of gratitude. But I'll address you are to begin with. When we admire and respect somebody and they are in authority and we're in an emotional um, state where it's been heightened, we're actually intensively feeling our feelings and someone says something to us that we then adopt and integrate as part of our identity, we're more likely to do so and have that really be how we end up having our automatic behavior follow through based on you are statements. And you'll remember this as a child, someone may have said to you, gosh, little Kim in my case, you're so, and complete the sentence, beautiful, bright, stupid, silly, naughty. Now the you are statements, we actually attach to, and then we cement them, and we actually go and gather evidence to support their strength, and they strengthen and their reliability. And really it's like we add extra scaffolding. We actually go and then protect those beliefs and it drives our behavior. So let's just say as a child, someone said to me, oh, Kim, you are so kind. Well, what's interesting is if my behavior is then unkind, cognitive dissonance kicks in and I will actually change such that I bring myself back into congruence or in alignment with that identity that I have, which is really driving my habits and the way that I'm being and what I'm doing. So Positive Prime programs actually have a lot of you are statements because we're actually addressing something a lot more potent than just the I am statements that you usually see in lots of spiritual teachings or in personal development and self-improvement work. Um, yes, I am statements are really quite extraordinary and exquisite in the way that they work, but it's only like one tenth of the story. You are statements are very, very important. And a lot of vision boards might have, I am wealthy, but quite frankly, you'll argue with that unless of course your positive prime session is going so fast 
that your other than consciousness can't actually interrupt and distract you with you going and finding evidence that actually is going to reinforce the alternative or opposite belief that you have. So in each and every single Positive Prime session, you'll actually see lots of statements that are in fact um, global statements like life is magnificent because our minds will actually go in search of evidence to prove to us because we have an insatiable appetite to be right and accurate and correct. That's one of our survival mechanisms. It's part of our reptilian brain's job for us to be right. And so most of us will fight to be right, which is why there are, of course, arguments, people actually defending um, what is right for them. But it's just because we're human. And so you want your brain, your mind and your emotions to start helping you and empowering you and uplifting and enlightening you with much better quality global statements. So the more that you become familiar with life is just fabulous and I am joyful, you will actually become much more like those statements simply because your identity will want you to be in congruence, in alignment with these new beliefs and they become more and more familiar and then of course we actually build that scaffolding around and so it's very important that you pay attention to the words that you actually repeat to yourself all the time. When you ask yourself really fantastic questions like, um, how could I ensure that this goes well, whatever that is, my meeting, my date, uh, my interaction with my child, how could I make sure that this goes well? Your brain will actually recruit a lot of resources, experiences, skills, gifts, talents, knowledge that will actually really assist you and support you in that becoming reality. So the questions that you ask yourself are absolutely critical. Make sure that they're positive and affirming. Make sure that that um, inner voice that you have is actually a cheerleader. You can actually turn that inner voice, that inner being inside of you, <laughs> that part of you that could be very critical into a loving, kind and supportive, proud cheerleader just by watching a lot of positive prime sessions on a lot of different subjects. So I'm going to encourage you to do that and actually, before I go, there's something really essential you need to know. When you're watching a positive prime session, try to actually go a little bit faster and also at sometimes really slow so you can luxuriate in it. But when you're watching it fast, try not to actually read the statements. Just allow them to actually flow over you and through you. Soften your gaze so that you're very gentle. So this feels like a very gracious experience. And just be in the allowing, in the surrendering, in the letting go. And just know that your brain and mind absolutely can absorb and pay attention to those messages that are really going to actually help you accelerate on the journey to achieving your goals okay and there are many more tutorials that explain to you why it really is in your best interests to make sure that you upgrade your account and you become a signature subscriber to access a lot more classes and programs that we do that would normally cost you $500 or $300 to participate in and you'll be able to edit each and every single one of your Positive Prime sessions so that you can upload your own private photographs and create a collection that allows you to internalize the messages, that allows your brain and mind to work so that it actually allows the messages to actually be for you, right? And that's going to really improve your chances for the way that you actually accelerate your learning and your changes. I could go on and on and on as I often do in lots of my classes, but that's it for now. Love you very much. Good luck. And please share your fabulous stories with us and please share Positive Prime with others. Thanks.